way to the Emerald Isle. And that was just because I wanted to see if you guys pay attention, because that's not the right intro. A right intro is glory to Vishnu. Shiba and the other one, Vishnu. I think it's a Vishnu. I think the third one I was forgetting always was a Vishnu. Right, I think now that I have it, I can feel at content and at peace. Okay, you guys are going over there, that's good. And right now, as you guys remember, we had a major significant event where basically we're getting owned by the British. We're not getting owned, owned like we're losing because of overwhelmingness. We're losing because of battles. Um, the British, flatly put, I can't deny this, they just have a better, better army than I do. So, right now, it's kind of that in, oh, I know what they're doing. Oh, I know exactly what they're doing. They're going to go try to conquer some of Majors so that they have this modifier no longer there. I can't fight them anymore either. My army's way too weak. I have to wait a little bit to heal them up. Yeah, you see, they're going after, they're going directly after the province. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to move all my soldiers into position to kind of corner them. Because I think I know how to do this. I think. Right, you guys also come down here in my new army. Okay, uh, you guys up here in my another new army. You guys also come down here. Okay. We're doing some serious fighting right now. Like, this is some serious mojo fighting. Um, hopefully the Portuguese do not lose. Portuguese, for once I actually need you guys to win. Don't lose to the Netherlands, please. They will conquer me if you do. I don't want to be conquered. Okay, let's see, all right. I need you guys to just sneak past, hide right there. We're just going to completely surround this position. Okay, no, that'd be a very stupid idea. Okay, do I have another troop going? Okay, you guys go right there. Okay, by the time they finish up the conquest of this of those regions, I should have a complete surrounding of their men. I should have enough to actually start doing stuff. Ah, oh, dang, move faster! Move faster, you idiots! Quickly! Like, quickly! Quickly! We have to get in position before they are ready. Because so once in... Ah, oh, shit. No! Don't you dare do that! Oh, good. I actually stopped one of my stupid commanders from doing something extremely stupid. Alright. You guys move down here. Alright, and then this should actually give me a t ticking war score. But I'm not going to charge in all my men because I know that's going to be stupid. It's better to just wait until they're all dead and then start to kill them, okay? They're attacking me on my weakest flank, but that's okay. You guys move in right there. You guys, we're going to go right there. Let's see, they're going to arrive December 15th. You guys are going to arrive December 24th, December 17th. He's not retreating either. Okay, good. We get in every man we can. Get in all of our men we can. Boom. Dang it. Ah, this must be the point where uncivilized nations get like a... Really just an essential... Okay, no. The other guy would be much better because he has a bigger army. We have to just basically... We have to basically just break the British will. Okay, go right here. Go right there. Right, we're making more men in the background. We're basically, we're basically turning this into a total war. We're doing everything we can in our power to make sure that we kill the rest of these soldiers. But we're losing so many men. Ugh, I hate being an uncivilized power. It's like feeling such like a useless person. Okay, we should be done. No, we're almost done. All right, well, I can't really do anything with that battle because I'm not moving these soldiers anymore. Okay, let's see. Okay, I have 97 soldiers versus 18. Okay, if I really lose any of these battles, I'm, I'm basically, I'm ba what I'm doing, guys, I'm basically just going to destroy the morale until they're all dead. It should work eventually. They should all die eventually. Okay, go after them. We're not, we're not just retreating. We're not doing any of that. And luckily, they haven't sent in more men, and that's, I think, because we just get lucky. Okay, right now we basically defeated all the men. This guy's are now done. Let's go down here. And yeah, we almost own all of Siam while we're just like relaxing here. Okay. Um. And apparently, Leda actually has some men. Really? Huh? I didn't actually think you had any men. What have you guys been doing? Th 
oh, okay, that that's just weird. So they had men, but they never used them to help me. Okay, so I should be able to conquer this back. So I don't... I'll soon find out how much the... So does that start it all from not the beginning, or... When do I start getting a Tiki modifier in my place? Alright, let's see. We're still chasing these guys. We're chasing... Nine, I, I feel kind of bad for the guys, because it's like 91,000 Indians versus 7,000 of them. Against Africa, that'd actually be really good odds, but against me, no. I know how to fight you guys. So, I know European tactics, so I know how to beat you. Um, what? Oh, oh, but pause. I was like, wait, why is nothing happening? Okay. There we go. Okay, so let's start spreading out our men to kind of accommodate for the, for the lack of reserves. I have slowly, like, killed my men. Okay, and then you guys go right here. Okay, we still have all of this place under our control. It should start to count in our favor. Let's see, you guys about done? No, you guys are not. We're building up another, another army. Let's see, you guys go all the way right there. Alright, we are looking in a pretty good position. We have a pretty good defense mounting up, and I don't think the British will ever be able to ship enough soldiers to come and fight me. We basically have the advantage, and now that I start, now that railroads are starting to be built, I don't think they're going to be able to win this. Because attackers' occupation, battles, okay. Well, the problem is, is that they don't actually have the region, so I should start to get a really good ticking war score against them because of that. Which is what I kind of need right now. And right now, we are almost there. Actually, I think with this war, we're probably going to civilize, so this is going to be very interesting. So I have most of my army now healing up. Most of them just need to like get the men back into place. It's not because they're dead, it's just because I need the men back. Okay. Alright, and over here. Yeah, this is the massive hordes I was talking about. If you guys were ever wondering what the massive hordes were, this is one of them. I'm now, as you guys can see, I'm just now just filling up my entire provinces. Providences full of just hordes and massive soldiers. Probably gonna have to delete some of these once the war is over because I don't think I'll be able to support them. But for now. They're good, alright. So let's conquer Siam, or Singapore, the greatest, well, the greatest colony that Southern Asia was ever controlled by, uh, the British. So, yeah, well, actually, Malaysia was actually a really good colony for the British. They took, they got a lot of good resources from it, but, anyways, let's move on to over here. Okay, we're doing pretty good right now. Our economy's still very strong, even though the British have basically done a lot of stuff we need if only I had I, I would say we should go get some ships but I don't mind if my island just a little bit off kilter because right now I'm getting much more war score for just having these guys out of it and then once I start getting adding the causes of bell eyes to get all these places back it should start to increase my war score by tenfold soon I'll actually be able to compete against the British and the British have now finished off this can I go on this island can I go on to this island yes I can good well, at least almost all of Singapore has been lost to the British. Almost all of Malaysia has been lost to the British. Doesn't seem like the British are sending any more troops over, which is, you know, excellent for me, because then that means I don't have to deal with any more. Because I think they're fighting this war, and it's actually affecting them. Which is, it's just like perfect timing here. If the, if the Portuguese were not, and the Spanish were not fighting the British, I think the British would be easily able to just like come over here and kill me, but since they're fighting them, they're having to send most of their ships to go blockade them and not me, which is, you know, great for me. And since I haven't built the Suez Canal yet, I'm still very lucky. And everyone, wow, that's actually very, very convenient. Boom! And, everyone! We're going to westernize, and while we're doing this, we're going to westernize again. So everyone, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Boom! What up? And now that we're westernized, I don't need to sign a Geneva Convention because that would actually kill me. So, anyways, guys, now that we're westernized, we should in the next couple turns. Oh, we can actually, now that we're westernized, guys, we can, we can actually start working on technology. I'm, I'm wondering what I should work on. I'm going to make sure we have the basis of everything we do. All right. Wow, we still need to get idealism and all that kind of stuff up to, up and running because we still are technically behind the other great powers. Great powers are just great power-ish. So, you know, you, you have to deal with that. So let's send all these guys over here. 
Send all these guys over here, send all these guys over here. But now since we have the ability to make what I want to make, um, cancel all these guys. Cancel. Cancel, yes. There we go. Alright, now what we need to start making is just a ton of tanks. 32 should be about what I need. So I'm going to build a ton of just lots of lots of artillery. Because that's what we need right now. We don't need anything else but tons and tons of artillery. What else I'm going to do is I'm going to start expanding all my naval bases. Start increasing all my protection. Oh man, now that we are industrialized, we can do so much. Oh, absolute monarchy. Long live the king, everyone. Long live the king. I don't know how long I'm going to have that, but I don't really care right now. Right now, all I care about is just we have the advantage right now. We have the production in place we have the you know railroads in place we are ten we are now considered an industrialized power which makes me feel like we have you know crossed a certain barrier that most nations don't get to in their lives it makes me feel very proud that we have crossed it and have made it to this point I'm spending a lot of my money on all this kind of stuff but I think it's entirely important that we do this because we're gonna have to if we want to see now that we have now that we have done this we should be able to start competing with the British which is you know the overall goal I guess of this let's play and with all this new stuff and I'm having lots of forts which is nice we should be able to do a lot I mean right now we're the 11th power and that's not even considering how bad our military sticks are um, right now we also have three modifiers that we can do which is nice it gives us more space to do stuff let's see how we're we doing in this one okay we don't need to encourage clergymen anymore in that place we need to move over here start encouraging clergymen right here all right and then welds 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 revolutionary risk this province is supposed to be mine why would you guys have rebelled against me oh, i don't know okay clergyman let's see oh man you guys are we are really doing good on the clergyman okay, how about over here i bet this place isn't very good at clergy no, they really, wow, we are really doing good in the clergymen. So I guess we don't need clergymen. Um, let's see, how are we doing? All right, let's encourage, let's encourage bureaucratics over here. Um, over here, let's also encourage bureaucratics. Uh, let's see if we can actually convert some of these provinces. The rest of these provinces will never become anything. Because they're just too far gone. Um, over here in this province, though, I think what I'm going to encourage is some um, goods to steal factories. Maybe, maybe we might get lucky and have a lucky uh, capitalist, even though I don't trust... Oh, wait, no, no, we're on this guy government. Shoot, so we won't be able to do that. Um, all right, then. If we're on this guy government, then I need to instantly start building up some stuff. Okay, so in my United Provinces, which is... Which has mostly... Which is going to be va mainly protected from the British tyranny, so I shouldn't have to worry about too much what I have to do. So let's see, we have a good supply of... Hmm. Wheat, barley. Okay, this would actually be a pretty good place for a um for a fabric factory and a uh, and a cannery factory. We could build both those in this place. So let's see. We're gonna build a a uh, fabric factory first because that's gonna be much more important. And then in our main province of of Calcutta, we're gonna. Oh wait, no, we don't have to move natural focus, but what we're going to do is we're going to build something, which I keep forgetting to. Um, what do we have mainly? Dyes. Now, main province, we mainly have dyes. There isn't a lot to work with. In fact, the only thing that uses dyes, I think, is this. So, definitely a fabric factory over here. Okay, we should be, by, by contrast, we should be like the leading producer of fabrics in about a couple years. Um, let's see, do we have any sulfide? Why does that, if I have no sulfide in my boulders, I will be so mad. Like, so, so mad. Alright, let's see, sulfide. Let's see, do I have any, nope, I am like a completely dry place when it comes to sulfide. So we won't be making our own arms artificially, we'll be making them internally. Okay, well I'll have to deal with that later. But let's finish out this war before I start doing any more crazy stuff. Because right now I'm going to have to wait, I'm going to have to wait for my craftsmen to start building up. Um, now that we have actually built up our thing, I think it's now time to stop tariffing so much. This is going to hurt my economy severely. But we're going to have to stop tariffing. It's just something we're going to have to stop doing. 
because now tariffs are really, really, really hurtful to our economy. Because, as we all know, tariffs stink. Um, the British right now are losing, which is a good sign. Um, what I'm going to do is add the war goal of a quiet core. Um, Jimmy, no, we need Nepea. Nepea. Because, why did I add that? Because it's actually going to go quicker now. Now we have an extra bonus because now we're getting, you know, one of our regions that we added in the war. I mean, they were technically winning, I guess, but we're now still winning. Because we have one region they don't. And still can sign a Geneva Convention, isn't it? That That's the event right now, isn't it? It's sign a Geneva Convention. But, oh my goodness, I'm so glad we civilized. But I'm also kind of stressed right now because I'm dealing with lots of, like, stressful things now. Because we have to do a lot. Okay, okay, okay. So let's see, move our soldiers back over here. Um, shoot, we're taking too much. Alright, well, now since we are actually in the industrial era, I don't need to be doing as much. Um, dang, where the heck did we not get the economy for this? Like, when the... I'm trying to figure out where the heck this, like, negative modifier right here is. Oh, it's our construct... Oh, I get it, it's our constructions, I see. I see, I see, never mind. That, that negative construction modifier should go away after a little bit. Probably it's going to take like a couple years. I really don't care. Because I'm actually industrializing my entire nation. Which now we have railroads which should go a lot quicker now. I mean we are building. We are not We are not stupid. We have to quickly go back into great powerness. And right now the British should be suffering from two different modifiers. Which is, you know, going to kill them in the end. I am definitely going to make sure they die. And, no, build a reform. No, we don't need low subsidize. At least not at this point. We don't need it at this point. We kind of need to keep everyone kind of me mediumly happy, but we don't have to keep them majorly happy. If you guys know what I mean. Okay, so let's see. You guys. Okay, we got our first cannon. Oh, sweet. Alright, so let's start... So all you guys start going to your designated armies. Yeah, now the British will not be able to beat us. I now have the utmost advantage. Okay, over here, this army, I hope is heading back. Yeah, we're heading this army back. It's going to head to Calcutta. And now the British will never be able to beat us. Now that we have their own weapons, they will never be able to defeat our, wrath, our massive wrath. We are now basically indestructible, if you guys must know. And eventually this war is just going to turn against them pretty quickly. Um, over here I built, seems like I built a little bit too many men. That's fine. Um, I do need to build a couple cavalry men. But I'm going to wait on the cavalry because now we have to start upgrading our cavalry. We have to do a lot of stuff. So I'm going to build my first, first fully armorized division to, okay we're almost there. We need about six more and, no five more, three more. We need three more in this army and then that's a fully balanced army. Oh my goodness, we have finally done it. We have finally done it, people. We got into the point where we have now become basically the most powerful people in the world. Oh my goodness, this, this took us so long, yet we did it. In the end, we did it. We, as India, industrialized and are completely like smoking people in terms of this. Like, we're not that bad, we're about 13th power, which is nowhere near bad. Once we start humiliating the British a little bit, we'll definitely gain what we need to. Which is all we really need. Which is all we really need. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. Alright, that should be enough right there to finish out the rest of this army. Okay, yeah, one more soldier should do it. One more soldier, and yes! Okay, so this is our fully first balanced army. This is going to be called the 7th army. This is going to be called the 1st army. The 1st modern army modern army that is the first modern army because it was done by when it was actually modernized and not by when it was created back so many centuries ago probably all right you guys let's see you guys go right there why do you not click okay you guys go like this go right there okay whoo man this episode, these like last two episodes have been just major, major, like, major events. I mean, I did not, so many things are happening right now that it's crazy. We're going to have to, our industrial score, our, 
Okay, wow. This should that should army should be able to finish out that turn. Hussias. Okay, now we can get Hussias. So I'm gonna have to start thinking about getting them too. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to this this is like crazy. I'm also bankrupting myself. Okay, has the economy balanced yet? Now the economy is balanced, so now I can actually start taking off some of this stuff. Okay, so we could probably minimize let's see, the most thing that's actually costing us is education. Why am I not surprised education costs me the most? Okay, but anyways, let's spend about 50% on militaristics. We want to kind of balance our economy to start being able to take out, you know. Yeah, there we go. At least at the very least, we should be able to last longer now that... Now that everything's said and done. Okay, let's see, get this army up here. Okay, and with our new population gain from, like, the British, we should be able to do a lot of stuff. Alright, let's... Okay, there's actually way too many soldiers in this army right here. I know this because I know the composition now. It needs to be at least around 39 soldiers for it to be a good balanced army. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, you guys go right here. Yeah, wow. Okay, so this is right here. This is going to be the second modern army. So let's see. Second modern army. Yeah. Alright. I don't know why I did pause it. Ah, uh, and now, due to being a modern nation, we now get rebels. Go hunt down rebels. Alright, I haven't even, like... Oh, uh, shoot. Okay, so yeah, there's one thing bad about industrializing, which is... The rebels are now real. They now start attacking you again. I was kind of enjoying the fact we didn't have to deal with rebels, but... Yeah, they, they come by a lot, don't they? Okay. So let's see, so now that we have that, I'm gonna add another war goal of another region which should actually give me you know I want this little region of India that way we can round about the rest of our Indian lands that way we don't have to deal with anything else from the south and with that it should make us look much more presentable as an Indian nation and we're actually beating them pretty badly right now alright so let's see these guys are almost done with the unit composition I'm gonna have to start spreading these guys around too which kinda stinks But you got... Alright, we have way too many men there. Move back. One guy. The rest of you guys combine. Yes. Alright, you guys definitely can't take it. So I'm going to move you guys. Let's see. Where would be a good spot to move them? Actually, right here. Okay. So, we just have to keep... About Calcutta. Did we win it or did we lose it? <sighs> Uh, as much as I'd love to say it, we don't need to become communist. Not yet. Not yet. I haven't even built up an even economy yet. Okay, yeah, we're definitely suffering from all this building up stuff. So I'm gonna, like, get my soldiers to 33. Administration efficiency. There we go. We don't need that much education. It's not... Basically what I'm saying, people, is that it's not as important anymore to get education. We need to keep our economy alive. And once, and once, it will become alive, don't worry people. Like, once our economy bounces back, it should become one of the most powerful economies in the world. Because, India is just built that way. So, I mean, it's not fair to the other powers, but they're just gonna have to suck up and deal with it. Okay, over here we have one soldier too many. I'm gonna send him over here. That should finish out that army, and... Alright, these guys are probably my destroyed brigade, yep. Yeah. Okay, you guys go finish out Jesper. Alright, let's see, how are we doing? We should be starting to get really good modifiers. Defenders Occupation. Okay, that Defenders... Okay, that Occupation is really now starting to affect us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build my own mini miniature army. Just all across the shoreline. I I'm spending so much in this war. Basically, this war bankrupt me. But I don't care. This is... We have to do so much when we industrialize. So much. Alright. Let's just wait for the time skip. Okay. Alright, now we're going to build up this. Alright, we're also going to build up this. Build up this. Build up this. No. Build up this. Build up this. Build up this. Build up this. There we go. Now that we have all that done, um, keep combining men. Yeah, now your army is completely done. Oh, man. I'm not going to keep, by the way, I'm not going to keep naming these guys all second and third and all that. That'd be kind of stupid, but, or silly, I should say. That'd be kind of silly, but, 
I will keep doing my best to do what I can. And you guys are attacking them already. That's good. And this army should be ready. That army should be ready for next time when that happens. Um, right now, we got caught off guard by the rebels. I didn't expect nationalist movements to be moving on me this quickly in the game. Um, Morales, support the war effort. Uh, we need to rest, brave soldiers. Probably the war. War exhaustion's pretty bad. Uh, actually, it's not that bad. That's good. But that's kind of good because I kind of didn't need it to be bad. Okay, you guys go over here. I'm going to finish up this army and then, wow. We have so much of a modern army right now. So much. We have, honestly, we have a very, very formidable for, force. Okay, now we have that. Quickly tech down the mass emancipation. And we're just, we're basically going to be playing catch up. From this point on, people, we're basically going to be playing catch up. Oi. Which is not fun, but once we catch up to them, we'll be able to just annihilate them. Because right now we have the home advantage. I mean, they're losing lots of, like, war score because of our conquest. But we need to take back our little region over there. Didn't really think this was going to be that important, but we need to take it back. So let's see, how many men would it take? 5, 11, 13. It would take 13 ships. So how many are we building? 12 build one more 13 okay and now we just quickly fast forward because I don't think now I have to worry so much about the army because now that we are this big in the game and we have this much occupation may I add they're not gonna be able to deal with us it's now become to the point where the British are now afraid of us they will not be able to fight us off effectively as they used to I'm probably going to station just men constantly on that island. And we can raise 190 troops. Oh my goodness. That is almost like that is almost like Chinese level scary right there, guys. That's Chinese level scary. Yeah, the British are not coming back. They're definitely not coming back in this war ever, ever, ever again. I mean, us raising that much money, much men alone should be enough to just... Oh my goodness. We, we have now done it, people. We have now become the threat of the world. We are now the scourge of the world. This is by far the most interesting thing that's ever happened in this Let's Play. By far. I mean, us being, us almost losing Afghanistan was pretty dang interesting. But this, right here, this is where it's at. This is where everything is to happen. And I have no infamy right now, so I could definitely do a lot of stuff. I could go after a war for Persia, but Persia's not really my enemy in this game. They're actually kind of friends-ish. But what I might do is I really will need oil down the line, so what I might go do... Uh, no. Dang it! I was gonna say I was gonna declare war on Burma, but Burma still has too much of a powerful alliance. And I know Chinese aren't that good of alliance, but still, that's, it, that's still better than most. And right now we're building up our own fleet. And I wonder what the... I, I seriously wonder what all those other, like, nations are thinking now that they see my ec economic potential. I'm gonna start catching up very soon. Like, let's see, how far are they in, in terms of great powerness? 247, that's all I have to be, then 346. So, right now, in terms of power, let's see how we are doing. India, we are at 198. And we haven't even built an industrial power yet. We're just starting to, so, oh my goodness. We, have, we should really start, we should really should start sorting by craftsmen. All right, so my Punjab region's getting a lot of North Bengal, Bengal, I know what North Bengal is. What will we need for this region? Alright, let's see. Um, let's see. This region encompasses all this. This would be a really good, um... What was it called? A really good luxurious clothes factory. So, would a clothes factory be good here? Hmm. Well, I know the like Let's do it. Let's just do it. Alright, so we'll need about two clothes factory to equal one luxurious. So let's see. Over here, back in our main region, this this is definitely something we should do. Build a build a regular clothes factory right here. Uh, okay, let's see. Anyone else building lots and lots of railroads? This is actually a pretty good region right here. Cyrus? I don't know what that is, but I'll find it eventually. Eventually, this is going to be a big, gigantic economy because I have so many slots. I have so many dang slots. But this is going to be an awesome, awesome thing. Okay, how are we doing over here in terms of converting this region to state capitalists? Not very good because right now we're in a war and I'm having to resort everything to just this war. But we have 
built up very powerful ships. We're finishing up the last two. Wait, did I not say I need 13? Uh, we know I'll delete one soldier and we'll just have 36,000 men go reconquer our islands. That's fine with me. I mean, we don't have to get completely exact. Right, go right there, and oh my goodness. The British, are, I, the one thing I don't get is why isn't the British doing a counterattack? I mean, it's not like I'm complaining about it, like, I'm severely glad they're not doing a counterattack because if they seriously did a counterattack, we probably would be boned. <laughs> like, legitimately, there'd be nothing we could do to stop them. But it's like, why aren't they? They should have a powerful army at this point. Alright, so I'm gonna go pick up those soldiers, and then we're gonna go reconquer my island and basically kick the British out of here. No more will they be in our land. Alright, so let's see. Let's kick out a regular soldier. Okay, so you guys get inside the ships. Let's hope there aren't any men over here on this island. Because we're just going to just plop some... Oh, there's the other... Ah! <coughs> oh, I just found the other guys. Okay, so let's see. Quickly, 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 quickly. I don't want to see any evil ships arrive. Alright, you guys are extremely slow, by the way. You guys should be ashamed. Alright. Let's go. Let's take this guy out and move him over here. And this should be... Now we should have a good balanced army for the future. And I'm probably just going to keep these guys over here on this island because, you know, we need a good... Actually, I might move that other, you know, still, like, making these guys over here actually to the island. Because it might be smarter. Alright, Punjab. Oh my goodness, we're doing so well. It's, it's, this is like the time, people. This is like the time. Alright, now that we have this reconquered, we, they should be suffering now. Now they should be suffering. And just to be adding injury to insults. And with all three of those modifiers, I should be gaining a lot each turn. Like, just a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Okay, actually I will have to go pick these guys up because I'm gonna go keep invading. I'm just... I'm not gonna stop. I'm just gonna see if I can take down every single one of the British colonies. You know what? We can now. We have the militaristic might to go take down most of the British colonies, which is what we need. Um, we also need to get some cement factories built. I know we have a province that has coal. I don't remember where it is, though. Um, we're going to go over here because I know there's a coal province over there. Let's see which province has my coal. That has my coal. As far as I know, that's my only producer of coal, so this is going to be like my main producer of like... This is going to be like my main producer of almost everything. So let's see. We're going to build a glass factory... Where did I build this? Glass factory. I'm also going to build a, uh, a, uh, what was it called? A, uh, cement factory. All these things. These all should be good. And, I mean, we have a population that by far is built to be an industrial power. Okay, let's see. We got all these armies basically immobilized. Let's see. You guys are ready? Let's start moving. Okay, we're gonna move you guys over here to Sumatra because we just need we just need to take over the rest of this island to give them no line of sight over here. We will own all of this. And since the British are too stubborn to give up yet, which is fine by me. Defenders occupation. That's fine by me if they don't give up. Because next time when we meet in battle, not at sea, not at sea, I repeat that, not at sea. Cause see, I still can't beat him at. But once we meet him in a proper battle, we'll be able to beat him just pulp we'll be, be be able to beat them to a pulp and right now they're getting they must be getting a lot of different modifiers and i just realized i could be occupying the land because this is technically oh my goodness this, this is too perfect all right you guys move over here start conquering the mountains and you know what i'm gonna do with the rest of these transports i know it's kind of stupid but i'm just going to start spreading out and just doing exactly the attack that they did which is i'm just gonna spread my troops out and i'm just going to run okay we have some steamer ships actually you know what i'm gonna do actually i'm just going to move all these guys right here right here right here and then go right there before we all just get completely owned by the british's steamer ships i'm gonna move my men oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness okay well anyways guys that's a full episode so i want to thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time